You may not have heard the name, even though he ranks third in the Massachusetts Great and General Court. His name is Petrolotti. He's from the western Massachusetts town of Ludlow, and he's been in the legislature for a while. And Thomas Petrolotti is known west of Worcester as the king of patronage, the focus of a Boston Globe Spotlight series in the paper on Sunday. Spotlight team editor Thomas Farragher this morning tells us what it was that they found about uh, Petrolotti. He has been uh, incredibly successful. It's pretty breathtaking if you take a look, as we did, at the uh, courthouses and probation offices west of Worcester. Uh, Tom Petrolotti's stamp is on many, many of those jobs, and many of the people who got those jobs uh, end up as... uh, uh, campaign con- uh, contributors to him uh, year after year. Thanks. Greg Neffinger, your next question for Mike Finn. On uh, Sunday, there was an article by the Boston Globe here that talks about uh, Mr. P- uh, Representative Petrolati. It says Petrolati's fundraising machine has raised tens of thousands of dollars over the past decade for contributions whose gifts came just before or after they received the state job or promotion. For example, at least eight security guards in Springfield area courts where one of Petrolati's closest friends as well as his brother-in-law, our senior managers, began donating heavily to Petrolati within a year of being hired. Another person said, uh, if you contribute to Petrolati's campaign, chances are you're going to be promoted. And my question for you is, have you contributed to Mr. Petrolati's campaign? Is, yeah, uh, to answer that question, yes, I have. Uh, I met Mr. Petrolati when I first became an elected member of the uh, West Springfield City Council. I knew that Mr. Petrolati was, uh, you know, very successful in bringing back resources for the, from the uh, state to the local areas, and I wanted to work with him and an ability to, you know, help uh, make West Springfield grow and prosper, as well as working with uh, Representatives Welch and Senator Bonacconity. Um So, yes, and as it's very interesting. I, I work in that system. I know a lot of the uh, gentlemen that have been referred to in those articles, and they are all good people. They're people that I consider friends, and I, I welcome the same support uh, that they've offered to Mr. Petrolati. Rebuttal? Uh, it, it says here that uh, the word is pretty much a given fact that anything west of Worcester, you don't get anything unless you go through Petrolati, said Jack L. Lissandro, the recently retired president of the union that represents probation officers. And Mr. Petrolati, in the past 24 that years that he ran, he only was opposed once. But Mr. Finn has given to Mr. Petrolati every single year since 2004 to his campaign. He now has over half a million dollars in his campaign. I, I'm just questioning if uh, right now you're so close to Mr. Petrolati, who's been so close to all the last three indicted speakers of the House, how can you be a reformer in the State House? Mike Finn, your next question, please. Um, thank you very much. Spotlight on one of the most powerful, but for a lot of Massachusetts residents, little-known members of the Massachusetts Democratic leadership in the House, Tom Petrolotti of Ludlow. Great story. Thank you very much, Tom.